Hey Steve, I know that you've been in real estate for a very long time, so you have been through a seller's market before. Can you tell me what you're seeing now and differences and similarities? Uh, yes, I, I actually have been through three previous seller's markets similar to this. Okay. And they, I could tell you when they are, they're in the late 70s, the late 80s, and the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. And so the, they're, they've all had, all, all of these have a different uh, reasons and outcomes, but one thing that they seem to have in common with, uh, with this market is that there's a lot of liquidity in the market. Mm -hmm. And it's usually government uh, intervention with either uh, loan programs that mm -hmm. are designed to have people buy homes that maybe sh shouldn't be buying homes right now, mm -hmm. uh, or very low interest rates that, mm -hmm. that are possibly artificially low. Mm -hmm. And so that's what's done, part of what's done what we're experiencing now, and similar to a lot of people will uh, remember the market after 9-11 was mm -hmm. somewhat similar where the Fed was buying a lot of mortgage-backed securities, mm -hmm. trying to keep that market pumped up, uh, which is good. Just like after the pandemic, they needed to do something, but they need to be careful of how long it goes on mm -hmm. to continue this. And after all three of those markets, and you could go back and look at uh, historical values, but we experienced you know, the big C, which mm -hmm. could be either correction or crash, depending on, on you. But, right. but um, are we going to experience that now? I don't know. Nobody knows. Uh, what I can say that San Diego has now that we have not had in the other markets that I've been through is we have no building right now mm -hmm. in San Diego. And that's part of what's caused our inventory shortage the last maybe dozen years even is our building has just continued to go down. Right. And so when you're when the market does slow down, it does start correcting, and the builders will do whatever they can to sell those houses. Mm -hmm. They'll redesign the product, they'll start throwing money at mm -hmm. buyers. And we're not going to experience that now because there's very, very little building going on. Yeah. So I think that it's um, still, as always, real estate is a long-term investment. I've said that my whole career to people. What is the definition of long-term? Um, you know, at least five years, mm -hmm. maybe more like 10, really. Yeah. And then if you buy a house and you say, this is where we're going to live and we're going to be happy here for the next five or 10 years, you're most likely not be disappointed. Yeah. And so that's my opinion and take it for what it's worth. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Steve, for answering You're the welcome. questions today.